Well, that's a great question and it's kind of like right now we don't know the answer. And the reason why we don't know is because we don't know how the plasticity of the cells change their uh, profile and the proteomics uh, surface um, under the selective pressure of the therapy. So we know how a tumor cell looks like before the therapy, but we don't know after two weeks of CAR-T or be specific how that changed. And we know it's changing. There are studies showing that. So I guess the key is for the future is try to understand how this plasticity affects this tumor evolution. And if we know that there is, for example, a new target, let's say a protein that is not expressing myeloma, that after 10 days of this CAR-T is actually press allowing the, the, the tumor to get hidden, then you have a new marker and you can get, for example, another CAR-T. Um, so I think identifying this plasticity and how the cell transition from one state to another will also allow to identify new targets and eventually eradicate these dormant or uh, frozen cells.